In this video, we're going to look at two plugins for WordPress called Types and Views. It's a great combination of these two working together. Types lets you add custom fields. There's other plugins out there that will do that as well. But what's neat about the combination of these two plugins is that views can then be used to display that information and all this can be done without having to code. So let's take a look at both of these. I'm going to do more of an overview for types and we'll actually demonstrate the views plugin. So I've installed types and views in this WordPress site. It will bring up on the dashboard menu types option and a views option. To use these, we're going to start with types. The way types works is you first add a, a custom type. And I've done that here. I actually have two types. We're going to focus on the classes right now. So let's go into classes so you can see what that looks like. We have the necessary information that types need to add. Add some custom fields. There's various options that you can put in here. When they add this particular type, you can specify what type of information uh, you want them to capture, etc. And I left most of these, I'll think all of these at the default settings. So that's so I created a class, what we call a custom type first. I'm going to go to custom fields and define what's in that custom type. So in our custom fields option under types, we see the group name classes. I'm going to edit that. And in this point is where you can define what you want to make up in that class type. So we start here at the top defining first the, the name of the group. I'm going to keep it the same, a description of that group. And I'm going to come back to here, this here in just a sec. But down here is where you can start adding fields. Over here are the available fields. You just click on one of these and it will bring it over here. I'll go ahead and just do an example here. When I click on one of these available fields here, it pops that type of field over here. Then you can enter the information for it. I don't need that, so I'm going to delete that. But that's how you add fields to your group. And there's various editing options you can put in with each field. You can make them required. You can also put in some conditions with that particular field. So a lot of flexibility in setting up a custom field. So I decided for this, for this field group called classes, I'm capturing the class name. I'm going to put in a class logo if there is one, a class description, the start date, and the end date. Above where you add the fields, you can also include information where you want this information to show up on the website. I'm, I'm assigning this post type classes to classes, so it's going to do that particular post. And that, this here shows up because of we added this classes custom type earlier. I've also, we're going to see this when we go to views, you can say, you can specify what template to use when you display these. And we don't see any classes in here, but we're going to add a, a, a template for classes and we can assign that to here as well. So that's a quick overview of custom types. They have some great um, tutorials and videos on, on their own website if you have more questions on how to use types. I want to focus more on, on the views and how to actually take this information that we've set up for, for types, custom fields, a custom group, and display that on our website. And to do that, we're going to use views. We're going to start with a new view template. So I'm going to define a template of how I want these classes to show up. So we'll call our template classes. And then to bring in the fields, you'll notice here next to the upload insert of the V icon, the views icon. And it's going to show here all the custom fields that we have set up as well as the our fields that come by default. And you're going to notice our classes, <coughs> excuse me, our classes group here. So when I show a class on the website, I'm going to show the class name. I'm just going to simply click on class name. It's going to bring in the short code. Show, I'm sorry, short code for that. I'm going to jump to visual here first, first as we go through this. So that's our first field. I'm going to hit view again to bring in. We'll show the class logo. Some settings you can do with this for the for the image type of field. We'll leave all that as is. And let's bring a couple more fields. We'll do the class description. as well as the start date. 
and depending on the type of fields, you'll notice certain options we, we can set for various types of fields that will pop up as we add these fields to our template. All right, we've chosen all the fields for our classes to show up on this particular template. I'm going to plug in in some in some formatting options here by by some CSS that I already have set up. So I'm going to go to the HTML view and to make this a little more presentable. I'm going to add a div tag here. <clears throat> and these are classes that I have already defined just to format this so it's a little more presentable. The word states in front of this and then bring this up. So dates will show up with the word dates in front of it and the start date and then this dash to include through the end date like so. And then we'll add our closing tag. And we'll save this. So here's our new template that we just created. If I click under view, view templates, and right there it is. Now to actually use this, let's go up here. And once we added that cat custom type, that group, it shows up over here on the left-hand side. So if I was to now add classes, I can tell it to use that, that particular template to, to display that classes. So let's go in here. We're inside one of our classes, Premiere Pro, that has already been added. Notice over here, there's an option to assign a template to this. I've assigned the classes template, so the one that we just set up. If I scroll down here, I'll see the information that I already added to this particular class. Again, this corresponds to the to the group I set up earlier that consists of a class name, a logo, and a class description, as well as starting and ending dates. To see what this looks like using our classes template, we'll do a preview changes. And here's our page that, that gives a description of the class Premiere Pro. And I'm seeing a little redundancy here. The title as well as the class name shows up again. Let's go ahead and get rid of this here for now. So let's go back to our template, which is inside here. And we'll edit our classes template, the one that we just set up. And we're going to remove the class name since it also shows up in the, uh, in the top page title. Do update, and we'll do a refresh of this page, and it should pick up our change on that template. Very good. That's how to show one class. Let's also use views to show all the classes that we've added. To do that, I'm going to go back to views. Notice here we have views and we have view templates. We already looked at view templates. Let's jump to views. I'm going to add a new view, and we're going to use this view to show on our website the, the list of all, all of our classes. So I'm going to do an Add New View. In Add New View, we'll call it Classes. When you add a view, they have a wonderful list here of how to set it, set a views up. So I use this to kind of make sure I'm, I'm setting everything up properly. We enter the title. We're going to choose what content to load. This, this filter option will help us do this. I'm going to click on this Edit for Post Types. I only want to pick up in this views just the classes group type that we set up earlier. And we're going to do it in, we're going to do it by post title ascending. So they're in alphabetical order. So we've set up our view layouts. Oops, I'm sorry, our view query. Then to show these multiple groups or multiple items, I should say, you can do a grid, table, etc. We're going to choose tabled to show our show our groups. And I'm going to edit that table. So on this, I'm going to click on that view edit meta table. This is the code that the views plugin creates for us. Now to actually add fields to show on this when we do a list of class, I'm going to click on this add field option. It's going to bring up all our fields that we have access to. I'm going to, I'm going to show the class name. And we'll just add one more because, then again, this is just a list of all our classes, so we'll keep it short. We'll do a class name and a class description. 
it automatically adds that code to the table that we chose to use as the layout. I'm going to add some formatting options to this table so it comes out a little in a little more uh, readable format. So in front of the class name, I'm just going to do some copy and paste here to save us some time. I'm going to make that class name so they can click on it to go to the ind individual page for this class. They can find out more information. So I'm putting in some code to do that. Also some style to the class name so it shows up a little bit bigger. And I believe that's it. So we'll close that. Again, I went into the, the view edit HTML to, to add that formatting option. And I already have the CSS set up to make use of those classes. All right, so I think we have our views completed. We'll save the view. So we've gone through these four steps here at the top right. Now to make use of this to show all our classes, we'll go to add our page. So go to pages, add new. We'll call it classes. And to view, to grab that view that we just set up, I'm going to click on this views icon. And here's our list of, of views that we have available. And we just added the classes. I'm going to click on that. And we're going to click preview to see what this looks like. And there's all our classes in the table format that we specified with formatting options on the uh, class name. So if I click on this, I can go to the individual page for that class. So that's a quick overview of using the WordPress plugin called Views to make use of the types that we set up earlier.